Hey, so what you see here is a room mapping vehicle that I created for a Megatronics project, ME507, with Nick Bonifay and Kendall Sterling. The idea was that it would use IR sensors to map a room, and using the encoders and the motors to keep track of its location so that it can map further regions of a room as it goes along. Currently, it works fairly well. The main problem is that we're using a pie board, and I haven't gotten interrupts to work properly which means that I have to basically stop most every other operation on the board while we're moving to keep track of position. So that's why um, it basically does a sequence of a light scan, move, light scan, move, and then it stops, takes a deep scan of the room, and then continues onward. It's using a quadrant-based navigation system from the map, so it's reading off the map. It's got a local map, and then a global map. Um, local maps is stored in RAM, but then the global map is um, in the, on the memory card because you can't store very much on a microcontroller. Um, so it works fairly effectively. Um, doesn't run into anything, so that's good. You can see from the picture in the corner there that I put, the map is all right, but it's not particularly good, and I think it's because we're losing encoder counts. So the next big step in this project would be definitely to get those interrupts working so that we're not missing encoder counts. Um, because what I, would, what I was noticing on some of the maps is that it would compress a room as it went along. It would start with the right dimensions and then they would get more compressed because the robot would think it was not moving that far, but in reality it was, so distance was getting compressed. We're using a customized breakout board which, which has a series of voltage regulators and motor drivers. Um, it also has all the hardware needed to directly interface with the IR sensors, bump sensors, and other things. We also have an IMU which is giving us our heading. And finally we have a Bluetooth module. That's pretty much it. If anyone's interested in future videos on how it works, let me know.